ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, dear friends. It's a great pleasure to speak with you today at the European Bioeconomy Scientific Forum 2025. I wish I were there. As a chair of the World Bioeconomy Association and the founder of the World Bioeconomy Forum, I'm honored to contribute to this vital dialogue. We meet at a time of rapid transformation. The world is shifting from the period of globalization towards growing polarization. This trend affects everything, including the bioeconomy. It risks fragmenting our efforts, replacing global collaboration with regional isolation. And yet, at this moment of challenge, we also see great opportunity. You know, the global bioeconomy today is already valued at 4 trillion euros, but its potential reaches much further, estimated to grow to be 30 trillion euros by 2050. This is not just the numbers. The bioeconomy offers solutions to some of the greatest challenges of our time. Climate change, biodiversity loss, and the sustainable use of our planet resources. Momentum is building. 25 nations now have dedicated national bioeconomy strategies. These include countries like Japan, Namibia, Ireland, China, Costa Rica, Finland, and many, many more. You may find them all listed on our website. At the multilateral level, we are moving forward. Last September, under Brazilian G20 presidency, the high-level principles on the bioeconomy were adopted. The G7 held its own bioeconomy workshops. These are important signals on global convergence, and we were honored to be part of these discussions. Our association, World Bioeconomy Association, promote a balanced threefold vision of the bioeconomy. Firstly, bioresource vision. It's about promoting sustainable and efficient use of the biomass from agriculture, marine and forestry sectors. Secondly, biotechnology vision. It is about enabling industrial transformation through innovation like genetic engineering, synthetic biology, and biomanufacturing. And thirdly, bioecology vision. It is about restoring ecosystem, protecting biodiversity, and improving soil health through nature-based solutions. None of them to stand alone. A successful and future-ready bioeconomy integrates them all three, adapted to the local conditions, but globally interconnected. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most promising developments is the biorevolution, a new industrial wave born from the convergence of the biotechnology and digitalization. But we in Europe must be honest with ourselves. The digital revolution largely passed us by, and now 70% of biotech patents are being filled in just two countries, the United States and China. On top of that, 60% of the global biotech investment flows to the US. These are striking signals. If the EU wants to lead, we cannot afford to hesitate. We must turn our scientific strengths into the industrial reality, and we need to do that fast. To do so, we need financing mechanisms that support the scale-up of bio-based innovation. Our recent report, Financing a Sustainable Global Bioeconomy, outlines a spectrum of opportunities, from private equity to the blended finance. We presented this work at the G20 Forum in Rio de Janeiro last year. South Africa will continue this financing team in the 2025 during their presence, and even more 
COP30 in Belém, Brazil, is having bioeconomy high on its agenda. Importantly, we need to common metrics and harmonized standards. Too often we speak of the bioeconomy in abstract terms. Without concrete definition, investors remain hesitant. The G20 principles, high-level principles, provided the foundation, we now need to build on them with the practical tools and cross-sectoral engagement. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, let me offer three takeaways. The bioeconomy is not longer a side conversation. It is becoming essential to the global sustainability and competitiveness agenda. The G20 high-level principles on bioeconomy represents a milestone in creating shared understanding and cooperation. Europe and the EU must act with clarity and conviction. We have to we have giants, the policy frameworks and the commitment. Now we need to scale and the courage to lead. Let us move forward beyond borders, as we say in the association, across the sectors and in the truly sustainable, resilient bioeconomy. I wish you successful conference and with this word, thank you.